Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between flood cooling and minimum quantity lubrication. In conventional machining operations, the cutting tool comes in physical contact with the workpiece to remove material in the form of chips. Presence of relative velocity under high contact pressure between the flowing chips and rake surface of the tool leads to excessive rubbing and heat generation. To maintain the cutting temperature within limit, suitable cutting fluid also called metal working fluid, is applied in the cutting zone. This cutting fluid can be delivered into the cutting zone in several ways. Two of these ways are flood cooling and minimum quantity lubrication. So, let's look into the basic differences between flood cooling and minimum quantity lubrication in a tabular form. Difference number 1. In flood cooling, volume flow rate of cutting fluid is significantly higher, about 0.5 to 10 liters per minute. Whereas, in minimum quantity lubrication, volume flow rate of cutting fluid is comparatively low, about 0.05 to 0.5 liters per hour. Number 2, in flood cooling, the cutting fluid is delivered without mixing with air, whereas, in minimum quantity lubrication, the cutting fluid is delivered after mixing with compressed air. Number 3, in flood cooling, flow velocity at the nozzle output is comparatively less. Whereas, in minimum quantity lubrication, the fluid air mixture is delivered to the cutting zone at high velocity for better action. Number 4. Since huge volume of cutting fluid is required, so usually the used fluid is filtered, cooled down and reused in flood cooling. This cycle is repeated for longer duration before disposing the fluid, whereas, since very low volume of cutting fluid is delivered, so normally the fluid is not reused in minimum quantity lubrication. Moreover, it is difficult to collect such small volume fluid once it is delivered. Number 5. In flood cooling, large volume of cutting fluid, 1 to 10 liters, is required to keep in stock in storage chamber of the machine for uninterrupted delivery during machining. Whereas, in minimum quantity lubrication, for same duration of machining, no need to keep larger stock as discharge flow per unit time is very low. Number 6. In flood cooling, large volume of cutting fluid is wasted after the fluid loses its properties, whereas, for same machining duration, less volume of cutting fluid is wasted. Number 7. In flood cooling, overall cost of machining increases due to additional expenses for large volume of costly cutting fluid. Cost of filtration is also not negligible, whereas, in minimum quantity lubrication, overall machining cost is comparatively low as less amount of cutting fluid is desired for same task. Number 8. Due to high volume of fluid disposal, flood cooling is always associated with negative environmental impacts. Disposal causes water and soil pollution and leads to ecological imbalance in disposal area, whereas, minimum quantity lubrication has paltry impact on environment and thus is considered as an environment-friendly way of delivering cutting fluid. It fulfills the idea of green and sustainable manufacturing. Number 9. Sometimes flood cooling tends to corrode the machine tool at a faster rate, and thus proper insulation on the relevant parts is highly desired. Whereas, minimum quantity lubrication has less corrosive tendency towards machine tool. And, difference number 10, flood cooling hampers visibility at the cutting zone. Sometimes visibility is necessary to continue the cutting operation without any apparent problem. Whereas, minimum quantity lubrication delivery technique offers good visibility. So machining operation can be stopped if any problem appears.